This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson 11, volume of composite figures. Okay, if we look at our homework helper here, we can see that when we find the volume of a composite figure, we need to find, we need to take the whole unit and basically divide it into pieces. So I'm gonna take this small piece and put it here, the top prism, and then the bottom piece, here's the bottom prism. Then I'm gonna get my three numbers which are length, width, and height for all three numbers. And then remembering uh, the formula for volume, I'm gonna do length times width times height. So here on my top prism, I have a length of three yards, a width of four yards, and a height of two yards. So I'm gonna multiply all three of those numbers and I'll have 24. Then I'll do the same thing with the bottom prism. I need all three numbers. So I have my length, my width, and my height. 10, 9, and 4, I multiply those two together, and then I take the top number and the bottom number here and add them together, and then put my label on the end, which is cubic yards. So let's take a look here. You're going to do the same thing. So you need three numbers for this top piece. Okay, let's pretend like they are totally separate. Here's my top piece. I'm only looking at the top piece right now, and I have my three numbers. So I'll do 1 times 3 times 5 which is 15. Now I'm gonna look at my bottom three numbers. I have seven, three, and three. So I need to multiply those together. Three times three is nine, and nine times seven is 63. Once I've done those two numbers, now I'm gonna add these together. So I'll add them, and I have 78. And then I'll look at my label to see, oh, this is cubic feet, so I'll write feet cubed or cubic feet. Okay, I'll do the same thing here. Now, I'm going to look at this number, this piece, and then do this piece. I notice that here I have a base. If I have a base, that means the length and the width have already been times together. So instead of having three numbers, I'm only going to have two. So I'll have the number 6 and 5.5. I'll multiply those two together and write, let's just write it here, and then I'll multiply these two three together, 5.1 times one times one. So I'm gonna have five times five, I'm five and five tenths on the top. You'll need to multiply five and five tenths, multiply by six to find out what you have here. Then remember to add them together. Once you add them together, write your answer here. And then we can see that these are measured in cubic meters. So you'll write M and then your three here at the end. All right, let's look at the back. Macy is decorating the cake shown. Find the volume of the cake. Well, this is like a two-layer cake, so we need to find the volume of the top box, the top piece, and the volume of the bottom box, the top, the bottom piece, and add them together, just like we did on the front. So let's imagine that I have this box. I'm gonna do nine times nine times four and get my answer. And then I'm gonna do 12 times 12 times three and get my answer. And then I will add those two numbers together. When I add those two numbers together, I'll write it down, and then I will write cubic inches at the end. Okay. Number four, the firehouse shown is the shape of a composite figure. How many cubic yards of space are in the firehouse? I'm gonna split this firehouse, so I have this piece that's tall and this piece that's long. So here I have my three numbers, seven, 15, and 20 that I need to multiply together. You can use your calculator to do that and I'll have one number, and then I'll times 15 times 12 times 40, and I'll have my second no number, and I'll add those two numbers together. Once I add them together, that's my answer, and then I will add yards cubed. Okay, number five says draw an example of a composite figure that has a volume between 750 and 900 cubic units. You actually don't need to do that piece. Okay, fill in the blank with the correct num term or number to complete uh, the sentence. A blank is made up of two or more three-dimensional figures. Okay, we call that, uh, if we flip it over, we can see right here, a composite figure. A composite figure is made up of two or more three-dimensional figures. So this is an example of a composite figure. What is the total volume of this composite figure? I'm going to split it into two pieces, multiply these three numbers, and write my number here. Multiply these three numbers and put my number here, and then add them together. And choose the correct answer. 
Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me at school tomorrow.